I'm Barbara Olinsky, and I'm the Director for the Center of Applied Nutrition in the Division of Preventive and Behavioral Medicine. I look at diet and how it can help patients with inflammatory bowel disease. And we have, since 2007, been doing a particular diet which is based on an earlier diet called the Specific Carbohydrate Diet. We've modified that, updated it, and have been practicing it in patients on an outpatient basis in collaboration with the gastroenterologists here at UMass. Um, what surprised us is the response of the patients to this diet uh, in that the patients have my heart. Um, my background is in cardiovascular medicine and cardiovascular nutrition and this is a flip side of that because it's dealing with people who can't handle the intact fiber and have to, um, whether they want to or not, modify their diet so that they are not injured on the inside. Um, the beauty of this diet is that it offers them something that is nutritionally complete and balanced, albeit rather difficult. There's a training involved and sort of a, a transition where the, the patient adjusts. The nice part about it is that debilitating symptoms that the patient's currently experiencing have dropped off and some of my patients are able then to reduce their medications. In my search for finding the mechanism of why this diet works, I've been collaborating with the Center for Microbiome Research and Beth McCormick and, um, and her group so that we can determine the components of the diet that match with the changes of the microbiome that we're expecting is the, the cause of why this diet is working. And if we can do that, we can come up with guidelines, which currently don't exist. There are no guidelines for patients with inflammatory bowel disease, um, such as there are for patients with cardiovascular disease. We know that diet can affect your risk for heart disease. We, at least I do, I know diet can absolutely affect your risk for inflammatory bowel disease. Not only can we affect the risk for inflammatory bowel disease, but right now we're doing a lot of treatment and helping patients with debilitating symptoms that can give them their lives back. And that's the best part about what we do.